My name is Dr. Leon Barron. I'm a reader in analytical and environmental sciences at Imperial College London. So my research group focuses on chemicals and particularly around how we use them, how we're exposed to them, uh, what it does to us and how it ends up in the environment and what it does to the environment. So really for me, it's to understand the life cycle of chemicals and their, their uses and their impacts in our environment. There's about 350,000 chemicals currently licensed for sale and manufacture globally. So in being able to measure that amount of chemicals is a huge analytical task. So for us, really, the importance of the research is to be able to prioritize which of those 350,000 chemicals we really need to find out more about to make sure that there are no really big impacts or risks in the environment. What we do in wastewater monitoring is providing a near real-time measure of what a city is doing uh, to be able to sort of build up a really good picture of, of activity within the city. My name is Elena. I'm a, a doctor in environmental sciences in chemistry. My research um, is mainly um, about new pollutants uh, that they are called uh, contaminants of emerging concern. One of the main um, challenges that we have is the number of amount of compounds coming from pharmaceuticals, uh, personal care products that we use in shampoos and like uh, toothpaste and I don't think we can stop using these products because we need them. So using HRMS and uh, doing a target analysis is providing us a tool to um, actually see what is in the sample and not only focusing on a limited number of compounds. So for us, it's, we're able to, for example, with wastewater, inject just 40 microliters of a filtered wastewater sample and measure thousands of compounds in it with very little preparation in a very short space of time. We're now um, injecting directly the sample with no pretreatment so far. So we're able to monitor a, a high number of MRM transitions in quite a short period of time. That means that we can run 60 or even 100 of samples um, every day. So working with Shimadzu very carefully has allowed us to build up a, a, a suite of mass spectrometry platforms that has allowed us to be able to deliver what, what we want in this area. We currently have three Shimadzu uh, instruments in the lab. We have two 8060 um, triple quads and one 9030 um, q -top. Basically, we use them now every single day, non-stop, mainly due to their features. So things that they are so fast that we can quantify so many analytes in the 8060 in such a short time of only five minutes or less. It's not just about getting the results quickly either though, it's also about the quality of the data. So ultra fast MS is the only way really to get that confidence in the data. The team has been working with us to get all the specific needs that we actually need for this type of work. It's mainly we need speed, uh, sensitivity, uh, robustness, so um, Shimatsu instruments, they've been able to, to provide what we have needed. So working together with Shimatsu, we've been able to implement direct high resolution mass spectrometry of wastewater samples, for example, through working with their research um, staff and also together with their technical staff on the ground in our laboratory in a really good way. So the relationship working with them has been very collaborative at the front end of science and also very supportive to be able to actually keep the instruments running. So it's a really kind of trusted, uh, trusted partnership here to help us, help advise us on how best to get the best out of the instruments we have.